Hi everyone, Massimo here from the Blue Root team. And today we're gonna to be talking about assignment rules. This is something that's come up recently in a bunch of tickets and a bunch of conversations I've had with people. And this is specifically in Zoho Sierra. So this is the ability when a new lead comes in to auto assign it to someone, whether they're available or not in a round robin fashion to certain roles. I'm gonna go through all of that today and explain what the business use case could be, the benefits, some of the watch out and all of that good stuff. As always, if uh, you wanna ask me some questions personally, feel free to join our office hours below. We'll have the link for that. You can, uh, it, it's a meeting similar to this. Uh, you can ask me all kinds of questions and uh, it's usually a group setting. You can learn from others as well. And as always, please like, comment and subscribe. We love hearing from you and I'll see you in the video. All right, so let's get into it. So in order to find this area, you're gonna hit the settings icon in the top right of your CRM, pretty standard. And then under automation, you'll see something called assignment rules, okay? And so basically what an assignment rule is, and as always, there's the little question mark on the right-hand side of your page. You can click that and Zoho explains stuff pretty well as well. But basically what assignment rules are, are the ability to auto assign leads, contacts, deals, basically any module based on criteria. And the reason why you would use this rather than just a normal workflow is this has a lot more features within it. It can check the availability of the person if they're online or offline. So it won't assign to someone who isn't logged into the CRM. You can't do that in the workflow. It also has the ability to add all kinds of criteria and you can assign things to roles. So again, that, that's kind of a different and round robin within the roles. So I'll show you a bunch of those features, but it's definitely a handy feature to use within the CRM. So first step, you're gonna choose the module. So this is the module you want to assign or the record you want to assign. So in this example, I'm gonna use leads. So let's take a scenario, a new lead is entered and what I wanna do is make it round robin only to a certain subset of users if the lead is from Toronto. I'm from Canada, so we'll, we'll use that as an example. So we're gonna go leads, round robin, based on city, as an example. Now we'll hit next. So then it brings you into a page that's similar to a workflow builder, right? So first you have to give it some criteria. So the first step is when to apply this rule to all records or records matching a certain condition. So in the example I gave, it was records matching a certain condition, right? You could do all records. Some people do that whenever a lead's created, just round robin it, that's fine too. But in my example, I was gonna say, well, only when the city is Toronto. Now, you can add more to this, right? Just like a normal workflow rule, you can add more criteria or the city is this, or the city is that, or the province is this, or state, wherever you, or whatever criteria you wanna use. You could obviously use it by product type. Lots of people do it by lead source or uh, company size, things of that nature. So if leads are coming in that are a certain size and you're asking that in their web form, then you can round robin it accordingly. If they're over 500, you know Jim and Jenna handle those bigger accounts. So assign to one of them based if they're online or not, right? So in this example, I'm just gonna say City is Toronto. So then the next step is, so now Zoho, when a record is created or a lead is created, it's gonna find that record if it's Toronto. So the next step is what do you wanna do with it? So we wanna assign the record, but who do you wanna assign it to? You have a couple options here. So you could just say users and just say directly, and you could click a few of them, right? And you can see here that it says the users will be assigned in a round robin pattern. So that's pretty neat. You can also click this and you can determine it by their online status. So this basically says, uh, so Massimo and Tom in this example, I'll get a lead, then Tom will get a lead, then I'll get a lead, then Tom will get a lead. But if Tom's offline, I might get a lead and then I might get another lead because he's offline, right? So that's what you would do here. So definitely a heavily used feature. It's pretty neat, it's fairly new. You can also do it based on criteria. So you can see here, if you click here, you can actually choose stuff from the user table. So uh, when you set up a user that's in settings and users control, there's a user table. So you can say, well, only if their role is X or only if their state is Y or any custom field you make back here, you can assign it to. So this is definitely something you're gonna wanna take a look at. And then the last step is you can save it and it'll be live. You can also add a follow-up task if you'd like. So it'll assign to Mosmo, then Tom, then Mosmo, then Tom, and give a task whenever it does. And you can do that here, right? So that's 
the the basic gist of it i'm also going to show you kind of a user assignment in the workflow it's slightly different but i think it'll be valuable so what i've just done here i just created a sample workflow and you do have the option to assign an owner in here as well so there may be use cases where you want to do it here if you want a bit more control on when it triggers so let's say you want to reassign an owner when the record is edited you can't do that with the assignment rule the assignment rule only happens on create so let's say for example um we put in a dollar amount on a lead here, right? And so I make a workflow rule, lead comes in, then I put a dollar amount on it after. You may wanna use a workflow to assign the owner at that point. So you say dollar amount is greater than five, $500, now hit the assign owner. It's a very similar structure. You can do certain conditions, you can do category, or you can choose an existing assignment rule that you made in the previous part of this video. And you have the option to assign to online users, send a notification. This is probably a very interesting piece where if there are tasks or calls or anything related to this lead at this point, and you reassign it to a new owner, the lead, you can auto reassign all the tasks and calls and all of that as well. So those are kind of the biggest differences, the auto assignment of related records and the flexibility of a workflow to get a bit deeper post creation of a lead. So yeah, that's basically the assignment rules. I'd encourage you to try it out. As always, feel free to reach out to us, join our office hours, uh, put some comments in the video. I always answer them. And if you get stuck, Zoho also has help on all of this, right? Hope you enjoyed the video.